Carpal tunnel syndrome is a condition that affects millions of Americans. Typically, the problem with carpal tunnel syndrome is in the hand or the wrist, or both, and it could be on one side or the other. It could be pain, it could be numbness, tingling, loss of grip strength. This is obviously a big problem because we use our hands every day, whether you're trying to open a jar or you're typing on your keyboard. If you're having these problems with your hands, it can really affect your life. In typical conventional care, really just mask the symptoms. What they do is someone may go to the grocery store and buy some anti-inflammatory drugs, or they may go see their doctor and get a steroid injection. Or if it's bad enough and going on for a long time, a lot of times they'll get surgery. And they'll try to open up that carpal tunnel in the wrist. But I gotta tell you, this a lot of times doesn't work. Over 80% of anti-inflammatory use for carpal tunnel syndrome doesn't work. Over 70% of the steroid injections, the patient doesn't get the relief. And that goes with the surgery as well. Over 50% of surgical procedures for the carpal tunnel syndrome does not work. Hi, my name is Dr. Zach Shaw with the Upper Cervical Spine Center, and we see carpal tunnel syndrome a lot in our office. And a big reason for that is, with, as an upper cervical chiropractor, I take care of the nervous system. And we know that carpal tunnel syndrome comes directly from the nerves. And so if we can get the brain to talk to the wrist and the hand like it should, a lot of times we see this carpal tunnel syndrome go away. So how does that work? Well, let's take a look at the neck because the nerves that go all the way to your wrist, your hand, even your fingers, all come from the bottom of the neck. They all originate there. So if we look at this normal neck right here, we can see a nice curve in it. And the reason that curve's there, it's for shock absorbency. It's like a spring for our head. The head weighs about 10 to 15 pounds. And so if you have a curved neck, the weight of the head is like a spring on top of the neck, and that's what helps keep the discs and the bones healthy, which helps keep pressure off the nerves. However, if this top bone in your neck misaligns, maybe it was a couple days ago, maybe you had a car accident, maybe you had a slip and a fall, maybe you're retired now and you played football in high school and you got your bell rung a few times and now it's 40 years later and this misalignment has been there for that long. Well, what happens is, is when that bone misaligns, it takes the head forward and now you don't have this curve in your neck. And over time, instead of the weight of the head being evenly distributed throughout the neck, where there's a spring in the neck, now there isn't a spring. And now the weight of the head compounds at the bottom of the neck here. This extra weight at the bottom of the neck starts to decay the disc and grow bone spurs around the bones. And when that disc decays, it starts to put pressure on the nerve behind it, which is what causes that carpal tunnel syndrome. The nerve to your shoulder, elbow, arm, wrist, fingers, all come out of the bottom of the neck right here. So you can imagine when there's a pinched nerve there, when there's pressure there, the brain cannot send the correct messages to the hand and you start to get the pain, the numbness, the tingling that goes with carpal tunnel syndrome. So how can we get this carpal tunnel syndrome to clear itself up? As upper cervical chiropractors, we're working up here. So by not working down here, how are we going to get things to get better? Well, remember, everything started at the top of the neck. When that bone misaligned, it brought that head forward. We know that's the cause of everything going on. And so by correcting this bone that brought down this way and brought your head forward, what we can do is bring that bone back up. It's gonna help bring that neck back to where it should be. We take pressure off the bottom of the neck. Now the weight of the head isn't compounding at the bottom of the neck. The nerve is released. We see the carpal tunnel syndrome go away. It's that easy.